Hey there, Boots on here. This is a Solus 4G series inverter. It's a mini 4G, a mini 3000 4G. It goes up to 3300 watts, 3300 watts. Needs 80 volts to start up and 500 volts to run. I have an installation outside of five panels that was running this solar river a minute ago. And I'm gonna test those five panels on this machine. I've tried it before and it's given me a weird error code. Something to do with earth leakage or something. So let's plug it in here. Snap. And then switch on the DC. And wait, this should light up. Does it have a DC here? Um, yeah, there's a DC isolator on the bottom as well, which is kind of useful. There it is, it's waking up. It's giving me an alarm already. I don't know what to do with this. I bought it with two panels. Oh, it's flashing operation now. Bought it with two panels. Now, zero watts. This was doing 50 watts, so I'm not expecting much, but I'd like to see more than nothing. Waiting, okay, so it's waking up. It's hard to see that with that shine on it. I bought it with two panels, which were brand new, and I think this was new, and it was 100 quid. 100 quid. So basically I was buying the panels for 50 quid each. There's a relay clicking. Soft run, generating. The fans come on as well separately, it's nothing to do with this. I've turned on the flash on the camera, that might help a bit. It says it's generating now. It did say a few watts a minute ago when it was turning on that flash, so what's it gonna say? 41 watts, which is about what was coming out with the solar river. My same order. So it's got the date wrong. First of all, it's a day out, and it thinks we're either after lunch or in the morning, so it's not too bad. I like it, and I if it's going to run okay, then it might not be an issue. I think I was trying to run it... I can't remember what I was running it on, but it was quite damp when I was doing it, because was, I was getting a, also I was getting an error off the ABB at one point. No, I wasn't getting an error, it was tripping the fuse in the house every time it started up because uh, the solar panels that it's on were mounted on a metal frame and that might have been our thing. This one seems to be working just fine now, which is kind of cool. Like I've pulled off the plug and just run Twin and Earth in there, but I think it's quite a nice clean one. I don't, I don't think it was ever used. Any dirt that's gotten on it was from my shed. It came in its um, aeroboard box fitting, but without the rest of the box. 40 watts, 41 watts. I'm gonna leave it there and see what happens. If it's working fine, I'm keeping it as a spare. If it's broken, I'm going to sell it on eBay for parts because I don't really know if I want it. And I think it might do okay because it's a relatively new one. I've got a hundred quid in it, but really the panels. So if I could get a hundred quid back, I'd be happy. But I don't know. I just have it mounted up on this timber frame for the time being. I'll leave it to run today and see what happens with it tomorrow. And I'll come back and finish off the video, I guess. 41. What are we getting out of it now? Forty-three. So I think when I left it before actually maybe I should consider this. Let's press escape. Um information settings time address. I think it was in advanced settings. Advanced info, advanced settings. Oh, what's this one then? Uh, zero, zero. No, not that. Zero, oh, enter. I think it's zero, zero, one, one, but I can't remember. I should really write these things on the machines. No, that's not it. Um, I think I have changed some of the advanced settings to ignore the earth alarm, so I need to turn that back on and check that, so that I'll, have to, I'll have to do that as well. It occurred to me that if I go in and check information maybe, what I'm looking for here is 
total energy. Oh wow, so maybe it is brand new. I think that's it, I think it is brand new, you know. So it could be brand new and it could be chugging away. That's pretty neat. Well, I'll leave it to it. It's made 100.1 of a kilowatt hour today. 100 watt hours. Happy days. I'll leave it to chug away and then I'll go into the settings tomorrow. I can't be bothered today. All right, so I know what the password is now. So let's see if we can get in here. Enter. Advanced settings, enter. Password. Oh, I've done it wrong. So this one should be one. And that one should be zero. So I'll have to scroll up. I could have gone back, of course. Nine, zero, zero, one, zero. Enter. Grid now, this is where it was. Grid, clear energy, reset password, power control. Calibrate special settings. I think it was in here. Relay protect set. No, I leak. Was it I leak or ground protect set? Let's go in I leak. I leak had stop, escape, ground, stop, escape. So it looks like they're still off. Well, I'll tell you how we check a relay protect set. Let's see if that one should be run. Okay, so escape there. Let's turn on ground protect set. Let's turn it on. Turn it on. Yeah. So uh, AS is enter. Run. Enter. Ground protect is now on. So let's see if we get an alarm with that. I'll leave it, and then the next one is I protect just see if it's got to run properly so leave it uh, to run tomorrow special settings escape escape it's still generating its time is wrong its date is out by two days one day um, information no I don't want that I don't think or do I I think I do want information then I want to see Total energy, one kilowatt hour this month. So it's made one kilowatt hour basically today. And yeah, so it's at 1.6, it should be over one, maybe it trips over. Okay, so it's made a little bit today and a little bit yesterday. We'll see if I protect. It's only 11 watts at the moment because it's nearly dark outside. It's not nearly dark, but it's, the sun's definitely going down at the moment. Where can we write that? Here. Oh, pencil. Who would know what that means? Okay. I'll come back tomorrow and turn off. I think I've turned off ground protect or I've turned on ground protect. I'll turn on I protect tomorrow and see if that changes it. So it's the next morning and you can see there's an alarm on it there. Zero watts coming out because of that. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Information. Um, There isn't much being made. I can't see. What the error code is. What I can do. Is go in here. Zero. Zero. One zero. Enter. in to special settings I think really protect I leak 
set so let's go in there is that one on no it's not eye leak so skip from there ground protect uh, run so enter that turned off ground protect while i'm there then i'll leave that for a day and then i'll turn on eye leak turn off eye leak the alarm light has gone off should start up then so if you know what iLeak does on this you know ground protect if you know what ground protect does on this then that would be useful so the alarm light has gone off but the operation light isn't on yet there it is okay so it's flashing and it's at zero watts but that's because there's completely overcast day outside now soft run I don't know there's relays coming on is that it's starting up soft run or is it something else if you had a proper engineer's manual for this that would be the way to go 15 watts okay so a ground fault error within the machine maybe can't remember if i've taken this apart or not i think it's quite a cool one because it's both very small and it has a very low dc startup of 80 volts and it has its own DC switch, so it's a good little standalone job. But um, we'll try that other ground leak thing. So this one's making 13 watts, this one over here is making 43, 56. It's hit and miss today, it's quite overcast and it's about 8 in the morning. And it was raining a minute ago. I'll swap over the two things tonight and see if it starts again tomorrow. The two things from... from I'll turn on or off eye leak and turn on or off ground protect, whatever way it was. The opposite way. Generating, so it's on now, so whatever that override was has cured it. Right, so settings, advanced settings, advanced password, super special settings. Now, ground protect, I think I turned it on again and I don't want it to be on. I want it to be off, and it's the eye leak one that I want to be on. Oh, enter that. Oh, oh, okay. So I need to go down. Special settings. Eye leak. And run that. So eye leak's done. Eye leaks running, ground is off. Okay. So we see how that goes overnight then. 30 watts right now. Let's see, what, see if it gets an alarm later on or tomorrow. So it's tomorrow again. It's, this is working. It hasn't The alarm hasn't come on. So, special settings, eye leak is fine, and escape from there, and ground protect is off. So there's some issue with something going to ground on this solace unit, that's, that's my deduction, if that's the only thing I've changed, and If it's the only thing I've changed and it works with that turned off. So ground protect is the problem. Now I would suspect that that is something, an earth leak within the machine. An eye leak I presume is a current leak, so positive to negative or plus to minus, positive to negative or live to neutral or something going on. I don't know which side it would be on. I don't know anything really about these things. Uh, and the ground, I presume, it's running to earth, because there's only one earth, and that's in the in the main supply, on the AC side. It's early in the morning, and there's no sun on the thing, so the fact that it's on at all is pretty cool. 12 watts isn't going to save the planet. Well, I don't know, it all adds up. So it's working anyways, with just ground protect turned off. If you know what that means, let me know. Um, if you're experiencing the same issue, let me know. And if you're an engineer, 
or a service technician or someone who works for Solace or Jinlong or any of these companies, let me know what's what's going on here. There shouldn't be any ground issue. It's been quite dry for a long time. I'll show you what panels are on it. The Solace inverter is being driven by these five panels here. They're mounted to a wall. There's one, ra one um, there's an aluminium rail at the top and then timber rails beneath, kind of home, homebrew timber rails. There shouldn't be any leak to ground. The wall is bone dry. Everything has been dry. It hasn't rained in quite a while, a couple of weeks now. So I, I can't see that there is a leak, an obvious path. And even before it was on that, it was on these nine panels, I think. No, I didn't have it set up on nine panels. I had it set up on four panels on the ground here. So I can't understand why there would be a ground leak. So I presume it's a fault internal to the machine and that the guy I got this off, I presume it was left behind in a warehouse, basically brand new. So I presume it was abandoned. And there you go. You tell me what you know. I've shown you what I know, and how I know how to fix things. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.